right, let's get going on unit six, drawing styles. There's a lot of different ways to draw, and you're just going to get some practice on this. Uh, first thing is send, click on here to send me a message that you're working on unit six. Let me know how class is going for you. Anything you want to talk about, that's a good place to bring it up. And then watch this video on Rembrandt. And once you're done, uh, talk about it in the forum and make sure and give me enough detail so that I can tell that you actually watched the video if you want to get all the points. Here's your visual journal. Same thing that you've been doing. Three drawings, <clears throat> whatever you like. As you go through the class, make your uh, visual journal a little more challenging each week. I'm looking for improvement from week to week. So add a little more, you know, if you get tired of drawing, just put them aside and go back to them the next day. And a lot of times if you look at them one more time, you can add a few things that'll just really finish them off. Okay, so negative space is the space between the objects. And as artists, we look at that space and look for the shapes that it creates. Um, so there's a whole bunch of examples here of negative space and how you can use it in a work. And then um, after reading about it, create a drawing illustrating your understanding of negative space. You could have a chair, keys, pair of scissors. Uh, have fun setting up your drawing and draw stuff that interests you. It's going to make it way more fun. All right, then we're going to go here and look at gesture drawing. This is a good example of a gesture drawing where you try and get the action of the figure. You're not really trying to make a realistic drawing. But if you scroll down here, you can watch the whole video on how to do a gesture drawing. And then what I'd like you to do is, a, a great thing to do is go to a park or a game or even in school, um, make three little gesture drawings wherever there's people hanging around. And you can make them small because you have to draw fast. And um, just do your best on that. Okay, now this shows you how to shade using your pencil in a realistic portrait. Now, most of this class, we're not really working on realism, but this will kind of show you how to do it if that's something you're interested in. Uh, thumbnail sketches are a way of thinking on paper, and actually thumbnail sketches are a really good way of solving a problem, but also you can um, plan out you know what you're going to draw you can frame it is it going to be horizontal is it going to be vertical and you can thumbnail your ideas out and then what i want you to do is a completed drawing compose and draw a drawing of your choice now use okay this one is all about drawing styles so try and uh, use some different styles that you haven't used use your gesture lines uh, whatever you got just bring it on this drawing make a, a drawing with a background and then when you're done you're going to upload them and you're ready to move on to unit 7 and have fun.